I get asked quite often, how do I create so many videos? And the reason why is because I can come up with these ideas lightning fast. So in this video, we're gonna talk about creating texturized shapes right here in After Effects to help you produce a really cool composition. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Hope everyone's doing excellent today. Please be sure to hit that like button because those likes have been tremendously helping our last videos do well here on YouTube. So I appreciate that very much. And if we continue to get likes, maybe I'll bring Nikki back. And by the way, don't listen to Nikki. It didn't take me a month to come up with this idea. It just took me all day, whatever, you know? And I always say this, you can download our project files for free if you wanna follow along or use it as a template. And this is what we'll be creating in this tutorial. I really love the look what we have here, but you're gonna be able to use any shape that you want. So here we are in a blank composition. And the first thing I'm gonna do is come here to the ellipse tool. You can use any tool that you like to use. And all I'm gonna do is hold down shift on my keyboard and draw out a circle like this. And I'm gonna make sure that this is centered in the middle of our comp. And I'm gonna take the shape layers here and I'm gonna go to layer pre-compose and we can call it circle or shape, whatever you wanna call it. And we'll go into that comp and here it is. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is to find the color of our shape. So we'll come here to effect generate and we're gonna grab four color gradient. So I'm gonna come here to color one and I'm gonna select like maybe a nice orange like this and then go to color four and select that color that we just created. And then we'll come into color two and maybe we'll do like a very nice dark blue like this. And then for color three, just copy that same color. So you should be using two colors for this gradient. So what we're gonna do is take one of the blue points and we'll put it right here in the middle of the circle like this. And we'll take the other point, you just click on the crosshair here and you know, we'll put it right up here at the top. Then we'll take the leftover orange colors and we'll bring it over here to the left and I'll bring this one down here to the bottom. The goal here is just kind of create a random gradient. It doesn't really matter what you do, but feel free to copy my four anchor points that I have here. And then let's go to layer. And let's go to layer styles and let's grab an inner shadow, something we don't usually use much here. And we'll open up inner shadow here. And what we'll do is come into opacity, set that to 100%. Make sure the blend mode is the screen. Uh, turn on global light and we'll come here to distance, set that to zero. We'll come here to size, we'll set that to 90. All right, so now we gotta add a little bit more detail to this. So we're gonna create something completely random. Grab the pen tool and we're just gonna create this weird shape in the middle of our you know, circle like this, close it up. I'm going to set the fill to the same blue color that we were using uh, in the circle there and that's what we want to do. Then I want to take our circle that we created and go to edit duplicate and we'll bring this above the shape layer that we just created and set the track map for that shape layer to alpha mat. And this looks terrible so we'll come here to effect, blur and sharpen and we're going to grab fast box blur and we'll come here to the blur radius and we will uh, bring this up so we get this nice little blur right here so it helps customize uh, you know, the color that we've created. A little bit and it looks great and while we're here i want to hit r my keyboard for rotation all click the stopwatch and type in wiggle open privacy 0.5 comma 150 close privacy like that this way we'll have a little bit of a nice animation here so i want to create a slight reflection here so i'll grab the pen tool we'll just change our fill color to white and i'm just gonna draw out a horrible square and i think that's fine and like i said it's pretty bad but that's okay and I'll scale this up by hitting S on my keyboard to make it a little larger. And then we'll do is come here to effect, blur and sharpen, and we'll grab that fast box blur again. This time we'll set it to maybe eight, nine, or 10. That's okay. Um, and then what we'll do is hit T on keyboard for opacity and set this down to 10%. So it's just slightly in there and you know, and this time we'll hit P on keyboard for position. We'll all click the stopwatch and we'll just paste that previous wiggle expression in there. So we'll have a little bit of movement as well. And one thing we'll do is make sure we take uh, our original circle duplicate it bring it to the top and bring that track mat to alpha mat just like that so this way it won't go off all right yes yeah, so this looks really bad but we're going to tie this all together with one last sort of gradient so we'll come here and create a new solid go to layer new solid we'll click ok we'll just go to effect generate uh fill so it'll be easier to change color in the future if you want to change your colors and we'll bring it back to that orange that we we're using our four color gradient right there and now what we'll do is grab the pen tool and I'll just turn this off and lock everything else. And I'm gonna come here and create like a very nice subtle mask towards the edge of our circle. Turn that layer back on and I'll hit F on my keyboard for feather and I'll set this up to like maybe 800 or so. And then we'll just take our original circle down here, we'll duplicate it, bring it to the top. And as you guessed it, we'll set that solid layer to alpha mat too. 
Alright, so now we have most of our shading done and we're so close to making this look really awesome. And as always, since we don't do any sponsors and we have our own packs, I want to give a huge shout out to our Motion Graphics Professionals pack right here for After Effects. So this is our Motion Graphics extension with 1400 templates in it, which has all the templates you need to put together any project that you're working on. So as you can see, we can hover over a template and apply a template that we want. And it applies a quick animation to our project. We can go into that template and quickly change the parameters and in this case, the text. And we can quickly change the colors however we see fit and it'll update in your main composition and we can take the scene even further with some of our high-tech elements or specifically some cool animated backgrounds in here and we quickly apply these and with both our elements here we have a full composition just by using two templates in this pack so if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work inside of after effects you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website i will link them below if you do pick up anything you will be supporting our youtube channel so thank you very much all right, so we're done in this composition. We'll go back to our main one where we pre-composed it originally. And the first thing we'll do is come here to Effect, Stylize, and we're gonna grab Glow. And we're gonna come here to Glow Radius and set this to 250. And then we'll come here to Effect, Perspective, and we're gonna grab a Drop Shadow. And I'll turn on Transparency real quick. We'll bring down the Opacity by a little bit. And we'll come here to Distance, we'll set this to 400. And we'll also bring the Softness to 400 as well. And let's go ahead and copy this glow effect and let's go to layer new adjustment layer and we'll go ahead and paste that glow effect in there and this will glow out even more. All right, so now let's take the circle to PR and keyboard for position, all click the stopwatch and as you guessed it, we'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis 2 comma 50. Like that, perfect. And now we'll take the circle layer and we'll just go to edit duplicate and we'll move it randomly around our composition, duplicate it. And we're just going to create a handful of these duplicates randomly around our composition until we, got, until we have a handful of these in here. Now, one thing I highly suggest doing is turning off the glow effect on some of these on the bottom. This way, you know, the glow won't be so intense. Um, but it's good to have the glow effect on some of the ones at the top. Uh, I think it makes it pop even more. But, you know, towards the bottom, I would just kind of turn these off by a little bit. And one thing we can do is hit R on keyboard for rotation and just slightly uh, offset the rotation of some of these as well. So the angle can be a little bit different and they don't all look the same or at least they're not in the same position. And if the glow effect is way too intense for you, we can just hide the adjustment layer. And I think that looks just fine as well. I think it's a nice touch to everything. Uh, so completely up to you if you want to have that extra glow effect on that adjustment layer. All right, when you're ready to move on for some further compositing and give this scene purpose, go ahead and grab all of your layers and pre-compose it and you just call it background or whatever you want to call it. Now I went forward here and added some title animations uh, to this so we can talk about some further compositing uh, techniques. So what we can do is go back into the background and we can just copy maybe the top circle here, go back to the main comp, paste it in here, and we can just put it somewhere random in our comp like this to cover up some of the words or letters at least you know and as before they'll have that drop shadow to go over the titles or logo depending on what you're doing so now we got to help make this pop even more so let's go ahead and create an adjustment layer and we'll go to effect noise and grain and we're going to add noise to this and we'll set the noise amount to 12 percent uncheck use color noise uh, you don't have to apply this to the other graphics in your scene if you're working with titles uh, just apply it to the circles because I think it makes a huge difference and check out if you need to fill in any extra areas here If you want to do that, just go in the background and you can just duplicate away And when it's all said and done, we have a really cool composition like this and remember you can use any shape that you wanted You can use a square triangle polygon it all works the same exact way So that's another tutorial done. I've done over 600 of these so continue to add up and hopefully the lightning fast ideas keep coming So if you did enjoy this video be sure to hit that subscribe button because we're posting multiple post production tutorials every single week You can also hit me up on my Instagram that link will be below and always be creating